Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we began the long trek through the Exylvanian heartland towards the capital in hopes of capturing Kaiser Vlad for the crimes against the Tundran and Frontier people. However, things didn't go quite as planned. Ingrid decided to call upon the power of the Iron Legion, and doing so, got herself possessed by whatever malevolent spirits lay dormant inside the sword that Vlad carried around with him. And now is on a warpath between both us in the Alliance as well as Exylvania. Today, we're going to continue our battle against both Exylvania and the Legion as we travel to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers. The Iron Legion is launching indiscriminate attacks on Frontier and Exylvanian forces alike. Their supernatural power emanates from the Cenotaph that, makes their, that marks their graveyard. Advance to the Crater of the Sun and destroy this unholy monument. Commander. The Iron Legion are indiscriminately attacking all who stand in their way. The latest intelligence reports suggest that the Crater of the Sun may be this monstrous army's point of origin. There are two Solar Empire fighters being held on the mountainside, Colonel. If you liberate them, they will provide you with air cover. Advance to the crater, but stay alert for remnants of the Exylvanian army. The Legion may have them on the run, but they can still fight. Well, they can try. Move out, Commander. It's up to us to put an end to this menace from the underworld. All right, boys. Load up and move out. I have provided a squad of infantry to assist you in this endeavor, Colonel Austin. Advance, my proud warriors. Gee, thanks, Psycho. A squad of grunts. That's really gonna turn the, the tide of this battle. Exylvanian infantry moving in fast. It looks like they're running from something. Gee, I wonder what they're running from. Okay, so we got infantry coming from both uh, sides, which it's just grunts, so they're easy pickings. This actually is one another one of my favorite levels, just with the, the layout of it, the history behind it, as well as the fact that uh, the Solar Empire actually tries to help out, and it's sort of a bit of a sandbox to play around with, and you got multiple ways to enter and complete your objective. But for right now, we got the Exylvanians to deal with. Hello, boys. We're tracking incoming Legion gunship. At least now we know what got those Exylvanians so smooth. Yeah, uh, boys, you might want to just leave the Exylvanians alone, let the Legion take care of them. There is no contest if we claim to destroy. Alright, hopefully that they can take care of those gunships easily. Uber shall return to the Kaiser and seek his forgiveness. Honestly, it's so much better that they gave us uh, anti-air vehicles instead of missile vets because the anti-air vehicles are just so much more responsive. But what's even more responsive is Solar Empire fighters. It is my strong recommendation that you liberate those pilots, Commander. We can really use their assistance in this battle. No, guys, not you! You fools! Yeah, teach the gunship a lesson, buddy. There we go. Alright, uh, let will take one of my grunts. We'll keep the battalion right here. Actually, in fact, we'll put them right there. I'm just gonna take this boy as well as the Solar Empire grunts behind me, and we're gonna go through this pilots. Okay, guess I'm going at this alone. Weirdly like that they have bazooka vets of all things protecting the pilots and not like your plane vets or just grunts. But, oh well, it makes my job that much easier. Let's take you out. Pilots are freed. Let's go and set free these gun or free these fighters so they can take care of the gunships. Those pilots will relish the opportunity to revenge themselves upon an age-old enemy. The Soryal Empire 
It cannot be! Our small enemy has returned to destroy us once again! It is exactly as you say, Countess. And when the battle is over, I shall deal with you personally. Oh, you fools, what are you doing? At least they have terrible targeting, so the souls one of the missiles didn't hit the it wouldn't aggro the tanks, but still. I'm dead. What's it with me always losing one heavy tank in these? Alright. So the Solar Empire fighters are actually a lot better than the grunts that Leiko gave us because these things do a really good job of clean, clearing the skies of the gunships. And now we got two pathways we can take. We can go to the right, which has some bazookas as well as a heavy tank. Or we go to the left, that has two heavy tanks and a squad of bazooka vets. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna take the road less travel. That. Okay, you guys are doing a good job. I can't tell if that was my AA vehicles that took care of that gunship or the fighters. Okay, the fighters are taking care of the one that's flying overhead. Take care of him real quick and let's push on through to here. Approaching the crater, Commander. Stay alert. You can expect heavy resistance. All right. So what I want to do, I want to. Nope. I want to put the battalion right here at the top of the crater. And once again, gonna go at this alone. The cenotaph is a portal to the Neverworld. Only when you have deactivated the force field will you be able to destroy the cenotaph and close the portal. So the Cenotaph is kind of like a... Destroy the four obelisks, then concentrate your fire on the Cenotaph. So... So the Cenotaph is a... This is a bit of a boss fight, not gonna lie. But with some good maneuvering, oh, <laughs> just pop right out of his It's on. All right then. Take care of our last obelisk. The Solar Empire fighters are doing a good job of keeping the Destroy skies the clear of gunships and all, all that type to take out the top things. itself. And I forgot I can't actually target it. I need to actually manually aim, which sucks. Oh wait, I can't target it. It's just a pain to target. And we might be losing our second heavy tank in this. The Sinatoff has a lot of health to it. Even with the heavy tanks uh, putting shell after shell into it, it's going to take a lot. But keep circle strafing, keeping the tanks just barely hitting you, and you'll be good. Another squadron of gunships will teach you the folly of coming to this place. Carlo, I am sending additional fighters to assist you. We must ensure that the Legion oh. is defeated on this historic day. Yeah, the second I saw myself get caught up on that grave, I knew it was game over. Thankfully, we still got a... What are you doing? Dance with my tank? At least we got plenty of tanks to work with. Actually, I wonder. Nope, I can't. Okay. Of course, they thought ahead and wouldn't make it so that you couldn't just snipe it from a distance. Nope, actually, no, you kind of can. Alright, well in that case, let me just bring the Italian in. Let's see what happens first. Do my boys get to me, or do I destroy the Cenotaph? You well, did we it, already man. know the answer. You closed the portal and put an end to the menace of the Legion. I kind of had the, the effect of, like, you see all the Legion vehicles get destroyed and all the grunts just, and ground forces just die instantly. I don't know. Shows that the power's already, you know, been taken from them.
I think we can turn the page on this chapter of the conflict. The Countess waits for me at the Cenotaph. This is not your fight, Kano. You made a grave error in coming here, Empress. It was my destiny. I could not choose otherwise. You're alive! The overconfident adversary can be your greatest ally. Come, we have work to do. Yeah, those heavy tank losses really did bite me in the end, didn't it? But hey, Ingrid's dead, so I guess there's that. And yeah, she's dead. Actually dead. Like, it, it's not that she was defeated and ran away or anything. No, it's confirmed that she died uh, fighting Lyco here. I mean, I guess we lost Gorgi, they lost Ingrid, you know, eye for an eye. Alright, with the Legion taken care of as quickly as they showed up, I never really liked that plot point in this game. Next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, we are not going to actually siege the last Dag because I'm going to do a bit of sequence breaking. Instead of doing a final mission in the game, we're actually going to be going back to the campaign for bonus mission because, well, I felt like it would be a little bit more coherent to wrap up all this other stuff before we end the game proper. So, until then, I'll see you guys next time.